Hello again, it's Dr. Boulis um, from Dr. Boulis Medical Spa New Market. Uh, we're still having lots of questions about laser hair removal. And I'm, I did a video before, but I'm going to go in this video for more uh, details to talk about laser hair removal. And really, it is really scary when people are coming in and say, I had treatment done before, but it didn't work. And when I ask them about the machine or the wavelengths, Really, I don't get no answer. They don't, oh, this is a good machine. I hear this is a good machine. So, but what kind of machine? So, make sure that the person who's doing the laser hair removal, that they educate you, which I'm going to do it now, about which wavelength they are using. So, here in our uh, spa, we are using um, this big guy, which I love, and this is the gold standard in the industry, and it has two wavelengths. So I'm going to talk to you about um, wavelengths. So laser hair removal is done by three wavelengths. There is 755, which is called Alexandrite, and there is 1064, and there's another one which called it is 810, which is the diode. This beautiful machine has two, which is Alexandrite, which we treat uh, white skin with, and, and the 1064, which we treat the dark skin with. It is really important to know the skin type, the color of the skin, and the color of the hair. This is what makes a difference. I'm going to show you an example here how this machine is set this way. So I did choose uh, the elixir drive here. So I'm going to say I'm going to treat uh, a medium light, medium hair, and I'm going to choose the thickness of the hair. The thicker the hair, the better it is, by the way. And I'm going to choose a skin type 2, which is kind of a fair skin or a light skin. And then I'm going to say no 10 because you cannot have a laser hair removal when you have a 10, which we're going to talk about it. And then I'm going to say here. Now it is going to give me the right setting. So how we get the right setting? There is a beautiful computer here, but also we can use our own assessment. Some people, they can tolerate a higher uh, energy which is good to kill the, uh, the hair uh, follicle. So this is one machine we have. I'm going to talk about the second machine here that we have. So this machine, um, if you ever have somebody who said to you that it's laser hair removal is done by IPL, we do have the IPL but we never use it. IPL is not a good standard. Save your money and make sure that you don't have anybody treating you with light. There is a difference in physics than light versus laser. So this is IPL, we never use it for laser hair removal. But we do have this handpiece which is attached to this machine and it's called diode. This is the 810 I was talking about. So let us summarize. There is 810, there is 755, and I have another one here which is 1064. So what makes a difference here? Why? why? Number one is the assessment, the number, the, the hair, uh, color and uh, skin type and the other thing that we use is which which wavelength we should use and the technique is really important of course when we have when we do the laser hair removal there should be 30 percent of overlap and what i do like about this machine that they has has it has different spot size so look here those are the different spot size that we're having so this is an 18 milli, so that means I can finish a man back in 10 minutes. It really doesn't take time. And then I can have a smaller and smaller and smaller. It depends on what we do, upper lip, you know, side burn. We can use this one for underarms. We can use those small ones for the bikini when we go around the corners and the corners of the mouth. So it allows me different sizes. But of course, um, this one is beautiful when we do big areas such as like an arm or a leg or a back it does it for in few really minutes the other important thing which makes a huge difference is the cooling how much how we cool so two ways of cooling um, this machine has a beautiful thing here that's called cryogen so I'm opening the machine here and this is the canister of the cryogen so it does a spray like a cold spray which is really important. Um, cooling is important for two reasons. One is safety, because if you don't cool, the laser is too hot and it can burn your skin. So we have to cool it. And the other thing is pain. It does make the pain less. This is another thing here that we have here, which is the zimmer. The zimmer is a machine 
that blows air. It's really nice. See, it's this is a very cold air. So also, it does make the paint way less, and it does cool the skin, so the laser does not burn the skin. Now, in this machine, it's a different cooling, and the cooling is coming from those two electrodes. But what I don't like about this machine is we have to use gel. This one, we have to use any gel. So I feel it's messy, <laughs> so applying the gel and taking over. So we really rarely use this one because the 810 is so close to the 755 here. So this one is faster, less messy. It has double cooling from here and here. And it's not as painful as this one, but sometimes in certain cases when we assess it, we have to use this one. So we talked about it, we talked about wavelength, we talked about the technique, we talked about the cooling. And now, who should have laser hair removal? Again, laser is blind, it doesn't see any fair or gray hair, so your hair has to be colored. I see, I need to see a color for the laser to be effective. So the color of the hair, of the laser, of the hair. So this is why I tell people, especially people with mini pause or with polycystic ovary, when they have some hair, facial hair, some ladies they do that. It's related to hormones. I tell them better to work on it before it gets gray, because once it gets gray, you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. So the color of the hair, uh, this is what we have. And the other thing here is the no tan. You cannot have any laser if you're tan. So give yourself two to three weeks to get rid of the tan. Again, the laser doesn't want to see any color, which is your skin color, so it doesn't pull the pigments. So you need to have no tan. Of course, we do not advise people to have laser if they just had wax, because when you have wax, you're just pulling the, 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 whole, the whole hair follicle. And we really, we do not want to burn the hair on top of the skin. We want to go down to the hair uh, follicle. So if you just had wax, this is what we uh, we wait for two to three weeks. So the question is, uh, how many treatments do I need? And why do we have to have multiple treatment for laser hair removal? Unfortunately, the hair is not all growing in one stage. There is one stage where the hair is growing, and there is two other stage where the hair is sleeping. So this is why we try to target this stage every time. So you're going to need few treatment because the hair does not grow in the same time. So it's going to be a few treatments, again it depends on the thickness of the hair, it depends on the response, it depends on the uh, color of the hair, we will decide but be prepared for more than one treatment for this laser hair removal. I hope this video was helpful to you guys and if you have any more questions, um, you can call us at 905-868-8000. Winter is the best time to do laser hair removal because you are not tanned and you're not going to be exposed to the sun. However, if you do laser hair removal, you still have to wear some sunscreen after you do it because your face is full of energy, so you don't get any hyperpigmentation.